Hey everyone, Templar74 here, and uh, before I get into the video, I just wanted to put this here at the front just to kind of let you guys know what was going on here with this video. Uh, last week I was involved in an accident at work, got hurt pretty bad, uh, ended up having to spend the last few days at the hospital, and when this episode came out I wasn't able to review it. Uh, that being said, though, I did ask everybody on Twitter kind of what they thought they wanted me to do because I was kind of bummed. At first, I was just going to type out my thoughts and post it to social media. But uh, then my Patreons um, reached out to me on Twitter and basically said, you know, why don't you wait and combine these two? Because it is a two-part episode. Combine these two into one review video, which is what I ended up doing. Um, so that's why this video is going to be a little bit different in format and a little bit of a different style. I still am recovering from the injury, but you know, now that I'm at home, I can finally start reviewing some stuff again, which is great. So there's going to be a bombardment of videos coming out this week. I have no doubt about that. But uh, that being said, everybody, again, I just wanted to thank everybody for their support while I was laid up. And yeah, at risk of further rambling, though, let's move on to the actual video. Can we just hurry up and get these two their own series already? Hey everyone, Templar74 here with another episode of Pokey Talk. And today's episode of Pokey Talk is going to be my review of the latest episodes of Pokemon Pocket Monsters 2019, episode 74, Darkrai, A Midsummer's Night, and episode 75, Cresselia, A Midsummer Night's Light. And I gotta be honest with you guys, these episodes were pretty great. Um, everybody was already hyped about Dawn returning, which was a big deal, don't get me wrong. And um, yeah, this just kind of adds into it, and it just kind of sums up my thoughts on we should just give Dawn and Koharyu their own series. And I've actually seen that several places within the Pokemon community, but I, I digress and we'll talk about that soon enough. So at risk of further rambling though, let's move on to the episodes. So we're going to start with episode 74, Dark Cry of Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, really, this episode was kind of a build-up, and this really can be classified as a two-parter episode to get the full in-depth experience. 74 was great, just because it was the first time we see Dawn and Koharyu interact together. Basically, the premise of the episode is in Sinnoh, people are becoming fatigued, they're not sleeping well, and the first thought at the Sakaraki Institute is of course Darkrai. And uh, we see Koharyu, she's excited to finally get her family vacation, she's done with school for the semester, she's on break, she wants to go out on vacation. Well, her dad kind of got sidetracked with his work and forgot about it, so she's decided, well, I'm still going to have my vacation anyway. She decides to head off to Sinnoh alone. And uh, it's funny because she actually does the overpacking thing that uh, is the trope throughout Pokemon, but uh, yeah, just continuing the trend here of carrying too much stuff. And her mother, of course, sets her on the right way, which is what she needs. Uh, very similar to uh, Dawn's appearance here and uh, Dawn's appearance in the series, but we're getting to Dawn here soon enough. So yeah, Kaharyu sets off to Sinnoh, and at first it doesn't really go to plan, but ultimately she ends up finding a lake and she sets up camp with Evie for the night. And it's at this time we see Dawn appear to her. She's drawn by the smell of the food and yeah, it's kind of a cute little interaction there. These two get introduced to one another, and yeah, they hit it off right away, and these two, they really click. They have some chemistry built between them already, which is nice. Uh, one of the reasons why I said we just need to go ahead and give these two their own series, but who knows. Uh, also in the background, it's also noted that Cresselia is being targeted by Team Rocket's Matori Matrix here. And, yeah, they're causing all kinds of trouble. Surprise, Team Rocket's causing trouble. I'm stunned. But, uh, anyway, that's really the basis of Episode 74, is really just Dawn and Koharyu getting to know one another. And this whole thing continues on to the next episode. So, how I would classify 74 is... If you're going to watch it, uh, make sure before you build your thoughts on it, make sure to watch the second episode, uh, episode 75. Uh, overall, as an episode, though, I really did like this one just as a standalone episode, not including it. 
um, with the following episode. Uh, overall, I give this episode a 7 out of 10. It was a really good episode. Um, and that's just the episode standing alone on itself. I'm sure once we talk about this at the end of the video, we combine this with the next episode, the rating will go even higher. But I digress on that, and we'll talk about that in the review for 75. And yeah, at risk of further rambling, let's go ahead and review episode 75. Okay, so episode 75 was pretty good as well, not gonna lie. Um, I think I actually liked episode 75 a little bit more than 74, just standing alone. Uh, but when you put these two together, it came up with a really good summer special here. Um, 75, the episode is basically split up into two parts. Uh, we have Ash and Go that are searching down Darkrai, and then we go back to Dawn and Koharyu with Cresselia. Uh, Cresselia, of course, being injured, Koharyu and Dawn help it. Um, and in the midst of all this, we have Team Rocket because, well, of, of course, why not? Um, Team Rocket shows up, and they battle Dawn and Koharyu. And by Team Rocket, I mean Jesse and James, because there's really two Team Rocket factions going on here. Um, yeah, it's basically one of those where they're in the episode because they have to be in the episode. Um, and then later on in the episode, these two groups and these two Pokemon, Darkrai and Cresselia, and Ash and Go and Dawn and Koharyu, they all, uh, they all join up. Um, Dawn and Ash are really like, long time no see, and goes like, hey, hey, stop, stop, wait, wait, we got other things going on. And it's also during this time that Matori and her Matrix team show up, and uh, they are going after Cresselia. And it's funny because at this point we were under the impression that Darkrai was actually attacking Cresselia. They didn't like one another, but Darkrai shows up and starts protecting Cresselia. Uh, Matori Matrix is defeated, and the episode essentially ends with uh, Cresselia and Darkrai heading off. And then we get like this little reunion with Ash and Dawn and Go and Koharyu and they're all hanging out and a little bit of slice of life here at the very end of the episode which was nice too. Um, that being said though everybody I really did kind of enjoy 75 more than 74 but when you put these two together it came up with a great special in my opinion. Um, it and you know it's only fair that these episodes got reviewed together because it really is one special uh i give the special 74 and 75 together overall i give it a 9 out of 10 it was really good um yeah i think really the only infuriating thing was everybody was more focused on the alola episode preview than they were the actual episode on social media but I mean, hey, that's just the community we're in. But yeah, those are my thoughts on the special. And as always, I want to hear yours. So in the comment section down below, let me know what your guys' thoughts were about the summer special. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was just eh there? What are your thoughts? Just let me know in the comment section down below. Because as always, I enjoy hearing from you. All right, everyone. As always, Templar74 signing off. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Hey everyone, Templar74 here. Did you enjoy the video? Do you want to help support me in making more content like this and see your name here at the end of every video? Then consider supporting me on Patreon. Any help is greatly appreciated and will help ensure continuation and increase the quality of production of the videos that I am able to make for all of you. Link down below. Again, thank you so much for your support and for liking and subscribing. You all are amazing. And as always, everyone, Templar74 signing off. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.